Hello, Cancer. This is your reading for the end of January, early February, 2020. Full Celtic Cross, and I'm asking for new energies and hopefully positive energies for those born of the zodiac sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Find out what the beginning energies are and realize I also know that not all these readings will resonate with all Cancer individuals. One month it may resonate, the next month it may not. And I always look for a positive reading, but if we don't get one, we will work through it. Okay? Ah, Eight of Wands. You may be actually getting messages. You may get, um, or you may travel with the Eight of Wands. When it's messages, it's quick messages that go back and forth pretty quickly. Five of Swords. Hmm. Are we having a little bit of argument, possibly? Five of Swords is a lot to do with that. It's a mental type energy. And sometimes it could be pretty cruel energy. So maybe those are what the messages was, you know, or are, or were, or going to be. Was crossing as the King of Swords. The King of Swords can be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. As you know, I do not um, assign one zodiac sign to a court card because we're reading for the masses. I usually use it as an energy. And when I see someone, when I see this card crossing the Five of Swords, the King of Swords can be uh, pretty aggressive in their wording and, and, like I said, cruel and to the point. And uh, they have no filter, okay? Your goal, what crowns you, is the Page of Wands in reverse, sending back messages in the passionate nature, also not as kind, you know? Eight of Swords, someone is feeling trapped and bound with the Eight of Swords, like they feel like they can't get out of a situation. The story with this card is you can get out of it. It just feels that way. In the past position, someone put up their swords. This is a two of swords. Someone refused to see things for how they are, or they put up their swords because they want peace in their life, and they don't want to enter any, like, conflicts right now. Near future is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You feel like you're not getting your overall stability. It doesn't mean it's not reachable. The energy is there. So it means you can turn a situation around if you want to or if you try. Um, it's called manifestation, and I'll talk about that soon. But I'm going to clarify these cards. And you know once I clarify these cards, it could change the story up or make it really interesting. Plus, I'll give you a love reading. But with your arguments and fighting, someone is feeling like they're trapped, okay? And someone said words. And this doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be job, career, you know, your career, family members, or friends. But when I see the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you're afraid, I feel, that you're not going to reach your overall stability, and I, like I said, I'll clarify. Your hope, or possible future outcome advice from the universe is the Nine of Swords in reverse, is to come out of that anxiety stage, um, coming out of having nightmares, coming out of not being able to sleep at night. And I'll clarify that too. It'll tell us more. Outside environments, the Five of Wands in reverse. Someone doesn't want to argue and fight. They'd rather put that away. They'd rather avoid it. So the outside come in. Someone doesn't want to argue with you. Your hopes and fears, someone wants justice. They want to prove themselves right. We'll find out what that's about. In the end, the chariot in reverse. Things may become a little chaotic if you're not careful. And this is why we read Tarot, is to sit there and form us what could happen so we can change the situation up. You know, you can't have everything rainbows and gumdrops because if I didn't tell you what's there, okay, if I don't tell you what's there, um, you will not be prepared for this and, and then you'll be like, blindsided in some way. We don't want that, okay? So what's what's causing all this is someone's not refusing is refusing to see things for how they are. But with something started an argument and we had something to do with the King of Swords. Now I need two cards for those so we find out more of why this argument is starting and how we can avoid it. So the Five of Swords, King of Swords crossing it. I need two cards please for Cancer. If someone is trying to come out of feeling abandoned and neglected, and they don't want to walk away, but they're thinking about it, okay, with the Eight of Cups. So someone had an argument, they feel a little neglected, and they may have said something, and may say, well, I'm just going to leave. It doesn't mean that they will, it's just, you know, the emotions right now, or maybe they did, but I feel like, like I said, someone on the outside does not want to argue with this anymore. 
with crown jewel, the gold is a page of wands. These are messages that are uh, fiery in nature. Remember, I, I said we had that um, eight of wands, which is also messages. And I did see them where they're going back and forth, like text messages and phone calls. And like I said, sometimes travel. But the page of wands, when I see this as a messenger, the messenger's uh, messages are kind of, you know, sharp, just like the the sword's energy, but with more passion towards it, more aggression. So page of wands in reverse, I need two cards. Whoops, ace of cups. Okay, someone does want an emotional new beginning, but they kind of arguments start it instead. So I need one more card for that. Page of Wands, Ace of Cups. I need one more card for what crowns um, Cancer or their goal. So I, I see that either you or somebody, yeah, somebody wants to come out of, they got the Nine of Swords twice in reverse. Someone wants to come out of a bad situation with you, okay, and you them. Um, I see that, I see a lot of pride here where someone's not making the first move. I do see someone wants to offer, yeah, they haven't made a final decision on where they want to go, but someone does want to offer an Ace of Cups energy, which is a new emotional beginning, you know, but it's, it's like someone's waiting for the other to make the first move, or there's a little pride involved, you know, in saying what you feel about this person, or they're having a little bit of pride to say, I really don't want to argue with you anymore. Someone is definitely feeling trapped in a situation where they feel like they can't get out of. And sometimes they call this interference. But I need uh, two cards for the Eight of Swords, please, to find out why it's there as a foundation. Past memories that weren't very, it's like someone's intuition is off, okay? You may be thinking that somebody's doing something when they're not, or it's vice versa. Someone may be thinking you're doing something you're not, and it's because someone keeps on bringing up the past of a negative issue, and they feel trapped. It's in their head. So someone is not letting something go, and maybe it keeps on resurfacing instead of uh, forgetting and letting it go. It keeps being brought up in arguments over and over again. I'm feeling that for some of you, not all of you. For others, you just had a bit of a spout. Someone's feeling like someone's not paying enough attention to, to the one person. And they got them thinking, well, maybe they just don't care about me. I'm feeling that also. But in the past, we got the two of swords. Someone's putting up their swords. Someone may be putting up boundaries because they want peace or they're just not seeing things for how they are. Now I need two cards for the two of swords in the past position for cancer. This card in reverse, you know, I cannot say this word without it. this uh, video being uh, suggested. I know it's stupid, but someone wants to resurrect the situation, even though um, they got blindfolds on because they're going through past sorrow. They're still, they're trying to overcome sorrow, you know, so it, someone's not seeing things for how they are. It's like a little bit of confusion feeling a little bit down, and they keep on thinking about maybe they should resurrect a situation that caused heartbreak for them, you know? It's like somebody might have blocked somebody when those messages were going back, back and forth also, and someone wants to get a hold of the other person. And in the very near future, it's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You may not feel like you have your overall stability in the next few days, or this week coming up, you may feel like you lost some of your finances. You, you're you probably wondering how you're going to um, survive, I guess, you know, when it comes to financial stability, emotional stability. You thought you were going to get that with whoever you're dealing with, whether it would be, like I said, a lover or jobs, um, career. But the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, while you're there in the very near future, I need two cards for Cancer. You know, you're not going to accept anything that's offered to you or someone's not going to accept it from you. And someone's a little obsessed or tormented in some way over the situation. They're afraid that they're just not going to have enough money because I see that five of pentacles over here. And like I said, a stability in all the way around. And it's like... But the four of cups I see there in reverse, it's like someone's handing somebody something and the other person usually doesn't like it. And they may just turn it down altogether because they're obsessed or 
um, chain to a situation, maybe to an old job or old situation. But I'm thinking it's more like someone's over worrying myself whether they're going to get something offered to them. I think it's more worries because I see a lot of worry cards here. So it doesn't have to be reality. Now let's get advice from the universe to see what we can do about this. Advice from the universe is, you know, telling you to get some sleep and don't stay up, you know, tossing and turning over this. But let's find out what else they could tell us. It's not much, is it? Nine of Swords in reverse. I need two cards for, for Cancer, please. Almost said Capricorn. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, be careful of what you say to people with the Page of Swords and be careful of maybe an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. It is a karmic situation you have with them. It may not be over yet. It's what it's telling you. But don't worry, don't don't have words with this person. It's not worth keeping over, you know, up at night because you're dealing with a karmic cycle. So it's like handle the situation accordingly so you don't have to repeat the cycle over and over again with this individual. But I also see that someone could be watching you. So just, you know, I don't see anything wrong with putting up swords. You're two of swords if you feel like you need peace. But I feel like the universe is telling you this is a karmic situation. The person is watching you and it's, and it's keeping you up at night. Just, you know, keep up your barriers if you feel like it's upsetting you too much. It also could be for some of you not to be doing this yourself. You know, don't be up nights um, looking for them online or, or texting them too much because it, karma is karma, you know. But let's find out what's going on. We're going to try to rectify this and see what, what we can do. But in the outside situation, someone doesn't want to argue no more. They don't want to argue with you. So the five of wands in reverse. I need two cards, please. Someone's feeling kind of bad. Yeah, they don't want to argue. They don't want to... Um, it's like you got the three of pentacles. It's like someone's not working on something. They don't want to argue, but they don't want to work on it either. I'm feeling like someone's not making their first move still, even though I see this page of cups here where somebody wants to make um, an offer, not an offer, but an emotional message. They want to send a mo message like, this is the um, I still care about you card, or I want to be friends with you card, or... Um, um, I still, you know, I love you sometimes, or I like you. And um, they want to offer something, but they're not doing it. And, and maybe the reason is because they're afraid maybe an argument will start. So I do see somebody still caring about somebody, even though whether you keep on bringing up the past with them or they keep on bringing it up with you, somebody doesn't want to walk away. Let me put you that way. They just don't want to walk away. But someone is seeking justice in the hopes and fears. Could be you, you know, because this is your reading. But the justice card in the upright, I need two cards for cancer. I see some people being really stubborn here. Yeah, the lovers. Someone is... Um, with the Seven of Cups, it's like getting offers that are confusing or someone feels confused by all the options that are out there that are available to them. And someone wants justice over a lover situation, but at the same time, they're very confused over what happened. In the end, things are a little still a little chaotic with the Chariot in Reverse. I mean, it's, it's like things moving forward again, but in a kind of weird way, you know, kind of off kilter. So let's find out what's going on. The Chariot... In reverse, I need two cards for Cancer in the very end. And I'll do a love reading, you know, after this. Because this got to do with work, too. So the Chariot in reverse. Two cards, please. I keep on asking that. But, yeah, something's a little chaotic at home with you, with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So you're just feeling a little out of sorts with this karmic soulmate type person that you're dealing with. And someone's watching you or you're watching them, but it's like the universe telling you, you know, don't stay up nights watching this person. It's just going to make you feel worse. This person does want to come towards you with a cup offering, but they're being stubborn. Because they're either you're thinking about past memories or they are. Like someone accused somebody of something, I feel that, or said something to somebody. They keep on resurrecting situations. 
that should be left alone. Like if you say, oh yeah, I forgive you. And you come back like in the past situation over something that happened. And then you just keep on bringing it up over and over again about past sorrow. In the end, I do believe you do get your 10 of pentacles back. You get your overall stability back. And this probably happened after, I hate to say it, uh, February or beginning of February. It's not going to happen until like after, like in the middle maybe, or towards the end. It's a slower type energy, the Ten of Pentacles, but you do get your overall stability back, okay? So I just see a little blip. We had a lot of those really harsh energies in astrology that especially affect Cancer and Capricorns and stuff and makes things go a little chaotic where people get, you know, use hurtful words or or someone use hurtful words to them. And this is just a blip, you know. We got to go over these energies to find out what we really want in life and how we can handle these situations. Um, I do see it easing up. Like I said, you do get your overall stability back, but I see very stubborn energies here where people are accusing each other or someone's accusing somebody and the other person or maybe both are being stubborn, okay? Someone doesn't want to walk away. Someone doesn't want to give this all up, okay? But it's like someone has to also make the first move. But if they do, it seems like arguments occur. Let me get let me get your love reading. And I, it, I'm thinking some of you, this is love. But others, like I said, it could be work where you got into it with somebody else and someone doesn't want to leave their career. But I do see, um, without, yeah, there's even hope. I see the hope card there too, okay? I see the hope card next to the Ten of Pentacles. So don't be too upset, Cancer. You know, there is a solution at the end. You just got to get through this rocky period without arguments. And the whole thing, the solution is to work it out in some way and not spout off at each other and not be so stubborn. And let me give you a love reading and I'll be right back. Hello, Cancer. This is your love reading for the end of January, early February 2020. For those born in the zodiac sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, for love, we need three cards for love for Cancer. Three cards from the Angel Romance. Three cards, please. You can pick a section if you feel compelled to pick one section, but I do try to bring these all together. Because a lot of times they, they all make sense together. And sometimes it also comes on from the last reading, more energy. And other times it does not. It, it's different each time. But most of the time it does carry over. Now I need three cards from the Angel Answers. This is what this deck is called, Angel Answers. So someone asked me what it was before. But three cards from the Angel Answers. For more information for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, the end of January early February. We need more information of what is going on in Cancer's love life or what could happen. And then I'll get three cards from the Psychic Tarot. Three cards from the Psychic Tarot, please. Sun, Moon, and Rising for Cancer, the end of January, <clears throat> early February for love. What information, more information do they need to know about their love life? Three cards, please. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I always ask for love, but sometimes they give me finance readings anyway, even though the first two cards are supposed to be love cards. I do have another deck coming in. And that has to do with love, but I got to study them a little bit. And this one says, <clears throat> express your love. Yeah, I do see people need to express their love and sit still instead of being stubborn. Because <clears throat> there are new opportunities coming to you in this relationship or future relationships. But to express your love and get this opportunity, a firm foundation needs to be applied in a happy home. I'm about ready to lose my voice again. <clears throat> I don't know what I do with my water. Second one, you deserve love. You, cancer does, okay? And in perfect timing, everything will come together for you, okay? And passions will reunite, okay? They'll be ignited. You'll get a new start in passion. Give your relationship a chance. And if you don't know what to do or you're a little confused, because I did see some confusion there, ask help from others. You know, if you got friends and family, ask help from others. And be careful of accusing people <clears throat> of deception and envy 
you know, maybe they did do this or you did this. It doesn't matter, okay? But keep on bringing up the past. I keep on seeing that. You know, well, you did this before and you're going to do it again. That may get in the way, okay? So you may need to ask help from others, you know, to clear your head and give your relationship a chance. These are for people that... Um, or cancers that do want to work out their relationships. I'm not talking about the cancers that are done and over with, and they really don't. You have a choice. You can walk away. You have that eight of cups there. You can walk away anytime you want. But these are for people who are thinking, is it over? Do they, do you really, you know, they feel like they don't want it to be over in some way. It does show that it's a possibility for some of you that the partner does not want to um, give it up either, but someone needs to express and talk each other, talk it out because there is an opportunity to fix this thing and to reestablish your home, you know, your foundation. You deserve love. You have went through the ringer, Cancer. You have been. But, you know, love comes in perfect timing, too. This will all work out in time, and your passions will reunite. But, you, you know, if you want this person, give your relationship a chance and ask help from others, and don't accuse people of deception or past deceptions and keep on bringing up the past. You know, like I said, you bring the, um, you can use it as separate, you know, express your love if you're attracted to somebody. There's a new opportunity that could be um, a foundation for you, a solid foundation. Taking this separately, you deserve love, and love will come to you in perfect timing, and, and you'll have a passionate type energy coming in with somebody. And if you're like, in, pick the third one, give the relationship a chance and ask help from others if you're confused, and don't keep on accusing people of deception and envy, okay? Don't say, oh, you jealous, or, you know, the arguments that I saw in the last reading definitely, to me, resonate with this, especially this last pile. Now, this is your love reading. I'll upload it soon, and I will talk to you later. Bye.